Bhagavad Gita, text 4.39. One who has faith and devotes himself with controlled senses to attaining this wisdom is successful in his effort. Having wisdom and knowledge, he quickly attains the supreme peace. The faithful stand on firm ground, for divine fate is a most tangible reality and not merely a product of the mind and intellect. Fate is the prerogative of the soul, while belief belongs to the intellect. Fate picks up where reason leaves off. It is not unreasonable, but rather a transrational vehicle to the land beyond intellect, the home of the soul. A person who trusts in that which he has learned from the guru and thus acts with controlled senses, detached from the fruits of his work in devotion, attains transcendental knowledge. He who has confidence that through Nishkama Karma Yoga his heart will be purified and not merely by renunciation of work attains peace. To emphasize his point to contrast, Krishna next describes the fate of those devoid of the requisite fate in the scripture and the guru, the ignorant. Such suspicious persons are suspended, unable to be successful in any sphere.